The lottery changes lives every day, and there's nothing more amazing than hearing about these incredible lottery success stories. They give us a little hope, making us believe that maybe, just someday, we might be the ones matching those winning numbers with our tickets. So what are the biggest lottery stories of this week? Well, let's have a look. The Best Facebook Post in a small town called White Lake in Michigan, something amazing happened to a woman named Jennifer Vaccaro some days ago. Jennifer was not planning on doing anything out of the ordinary one evening. She and her fiancé decided to go out to Andale Mexican Grill and Cantina, which was a local place they liked. While they were there, her fiancé played a game called Club Kino, and Jennifer thought she might as well try her luck with a Powerball ticket. And we all know how the Powerball works, right? Jennifer had to choose numbers for her ticket. Usually, she didn't spend much time picking her numbers, but that night she decided to choose them herself. She picked 3, 18, 27, 36, and 53. It turned out to be the best decision she could have made. The next day, Jennifer was looking through Facebook and saw a post about a winning Powerball ticket sold at Andale. And remember, where did Jennifer buy her ticket? Yeah, Andale. The winning numbers were posted, and Jennifer recognized them right away as hers. She quickly checked her ticket with the lottery app and saw that she had won $1 million. She was so surprised and happy that she started shaking. The first thing Jennifer did was call her daughters and her fiancé to tell them the good news. And they couldn't believe it. It was a moment of pure joy for them. Jennifer went to the lottery headquarters in Lansing to claim her prize a few days later. She said the past few days had been unreal. She was so full of nerves and excitement that she couldn't even eat or sleep properly. It's not every day that you find out that you've won so much money. Jennifer told the Michigan Lottery that she has big plans for her winnings. She wants to take her family on a trip, something she always wanted to do but never had the chance. The rest of the money she plans to save for the future. While Jennifer's fortune came from a Powerball ticket, this man hit the jackpot in both life and the lottery. A deserving win $1.765 billion The California State Lottery disclosed that Theodore Struyck, who's 65 years old, came forward as the representative for a group that won a massive $1.765 billion in the Powerball Lottery draw on October 11, 2023. This remarkable win made the group winners of the world's second largest lottery jackpot. Theodorus, or Theo as his friends call him, was the one who stepped up to claim the prize for his group. In California, you can't keep your name secret if you win the lottery, so Theo became the face of this winning group. What makes this win so special is not the amount of money this group won, but the character of their representative. Everyone around Theo says he's the best guy to win this. He's known for being super nice and really caring about his family. He's the kind of neighbor everyone wishes they had. Before this big win, Theo was enjoying his retirement. He used to work at UPS, and now he lives in Fraser Park, a small town with just 3,000 people. It's the kind of place where everyone knows each other. Theo is from Hawaii originally, and even though he's far from the recent fires there, he's been really worried about them. It shows he's a person who cares a lot about others no matter where they are. One cool thing about Theo is that he loves fishing, even has a small boat. It's great to see someone with simple hobbies hit it big like this. Plus, his son is in the Marines and stationed in San Diego, which is where the winning ticket was turned in. Maybe it was meant to be. After winning, Theo wanted some peace and quiet. He put up a no trespassing sign to have some privacy. It must be overwhelming to suddenly be in the spotlight because of money. The local store where Theo bought his ticket, Midway Market and Liquor, is owned by Nadal Andy Khalil. Andy said Theo was a regular customer, and he was really happy for his win. Right when everyone was thinking the ticket might have been lost, Theo came to him after five months to reveal he was the winner. Because the winning ticket was bought at Andy's store, he got a $1 million bonus for selling the ticket, which is pretty sweet. It's amazing to think about how this win will change Theo's life and the lives of his group, and yes, also the store where he bought the ticket. 
While we don't know how each of them is planning to spend their winnings, we know about this next person who spent his money on something bittersweet. Bittersweet Win – $70 Million A few days back, Brian Hoover, a Canadian, hit the jackpot. He won a whopping $70 million in the Lotto Max, which is about $51.6 million in US dollars. Just imagine waking up to find out you're $70 million richer. But for Brian, this win was about more than just the money. Brian and his wife had spent countless hours dreaming about what they would do if they ever won the lottery. It's a conversation many of us have had, but for the Hoovers, it was a cherished dream. Sadly, Brian's wife passed away before they could turn their dreams into reality. This victory, therefore, was a bittersweet moment for Brian. Despite the roller coaster of emotions, Brian saw this win as an opportunity to keep his wife's spirit alive. He didn't jump into spending spree mode or make any hasty decisions. Instead, he thought about how he could use this fortune to honor his wife and do some good in the world. Brian's wife loves spending time with their three children, especially at parks. So one of Brian's first ideas was to have a park named after her. It's a beautiful way to keep her memory alive. He's also considering supporting local schools and educational programs. Brian's plans for the money are heartwarming. He's thinking of helping his family first, like paying off mortgages and supporting relatives. Based on all the plans he has for how to spend his windfall, it seems like he's a nice guy with a kind heart. Brian is also planning a trip to visit a friend in the Yukon, and he's thinking of making the journey in a classy motorhome. Apparently, he's trying to spend the money in the sweetest ways possible. Brian got one chance to spend his winning smartly, and he's doing it right. Now imagine the choices of this next winner who got this chance twice. Lucky twice. One million dollars. Do you know the chances of winning the lottery are? They're one in 292 million. Most of us buy a ticket dreaming of what we would do with all that cash, but deep down, we know it's a long shot. Now, think about how wild it would be to win a million dollars not just once, but twice. It sounds unreal, doesn't it? Well, for Gayla Gishard from Virginia, this came true. So this is what happened. Gayla decided to purchase a lottery ticket while at the Raceway Station in Isle of Wight County. She went for the Virginia Million scratch-off game and bought a ticket for 20 bucks. After scratching it off in the store, she couldn't believe her eyes. To make sure she wasn't seeing things, she asked the station owners to double-check. And guess what? She had just won a million dollars. Imagine that moment. The place went nuts with everyone screaming in excitement. The funny thing is, when people outside heard the commotion and rushed in to see what was up, Gayla and the station owners played it cool. They didn't tell any more people about the win and stayed silent. Gayla had a choice on how to get her winnings. A million dollars spread out over 30 years of annuity or a one-time payout of 571 grand before taxes. We don't know yet what choice she ended up making. What we do know is that the Raceway Station got a sweet $10,000 bonus for selling that lucky ticket. Now, the interesting part. This was not the first time Gayla won a lottery. She had already won $100,000 in Virginia's New Year's Millionaire Raffle back in 2021. Yup, she hit the jackpot twice. How crazy is that? Her story is like getting struck by lightning twice. Winning once is amazing, but twice? Well, that's like winning the lottery of winning the lottery. It just goes to show you never know what's going to happen. Even though Gayla was lucky to have won the lottery twice, she was still not as lucky as the next person who won the largest New Jersey jackpot. The largest New Jersey jackpot – $1.13 billion Alright, so check this out. One of the Mega Millions lotteries was rolling again and again, going 30 rounds without anyone winning the jackpot. You know what happens when it rolls and draws no winner, right? The pot just gets bigger and bigger. And after all those 30 rounds with no big winner, the jackpot had ballooned to a jaw-dropping $1.13 billion by the 31st draw. Then, bam! Someone in New Jersey hit the jackpot, matching all five numbers plus the Mega Ball. Can you imagine? 
This was only the tenth time ever that a lottery jackpot had soared over the billion dollar mark, and the ninth time someone won over a billion bucks with just one ticket. For New Jersey, this is huge. It's the biggest lottery win the state's ever seen. The last record in New Jersey was back in 2018 when a man named Richard Wall won a $533 million Mega Millions jackpot. This new win completely blows that out of the water. Now the lucky winner has a massive decision to make. They can either take the full $1.13 bill in gradually increasing annuity payments over 29 years or opt for a lump sum of $525.8 million right now. This jackpot ranks as the 8th largest in the world and the 5th largest in the history of Mega Millions. After taxes, which are pretty high in New Jersey, and they take out 10.7%, the winner will get either 591.7 mil over 29 years or 280.9 mil all at once. Those numbers are still estimated figures, though. The final amount might be even a bit higher once they tally up all the ticket sales. In New Jersey, the winners got a whole year to come forward and claim their prize. And guess where this golden ticket was bought? At a ShopRite liquor store in Neptune Township. This place even got a $30,000 bonus for selling the winning ticket. It's wild, isn't it? It just goes to show you never know when your luck's gonna turn around. From no winners in 30 draws to one of the biggest jackpots ever, that's lottery magic for you. We just hope the ticket owner gets the news that they've won before the ticket expires, because sometimes the winners realize they've won after the ticket expires. A similar thing was about to happen with this next winner. Last Minute Luck – $64 million Last year in April, there was this news all over Canada. The news of the $64 million Lotto 649 jackpot, which is about $47.26 million USD. And the funny thing about it was that it remained unclaimed. As you know, if no one steps up within a year, the ticket expires and no one can claim that mountain of cash afterward. It goes into the lottery pool. Imagine having a winning ticket and not even knowing it. Similarly, Atlantic Canada's biggest ever lottery prize was about to slip through the fingers of its rightful owner. But with only 19 days to spare, the lucky winner came forward at last. Mel Chieson of Bakkeret Kent, New Brunswick, was the man of the hour. He'd been sitting on a gold mine quite literally. The winning ticket was hidden away in his bedroom dresser for 347 days, clueless of the fortune it represented. It was his monthly ritual that saved the day. He had gathered all his lottery tickets and checked them, especially those about to expire. This laid-back approach led him to discover his win just in the nick of time. Chasson was never one to fret over lottery tickets, never imagining that one of those slips of paper could be worth millions. His casual attitude towards checking his tickets almost cost him the biggest lottery prize ever won in Atlantic Canada. The moment of realization was so funny. At first, he couldn't tell if he'd won 64 grand or 64 million dollars due to the overwhelming number of zeros on the ticket. His partner, however, knew instantly that he had hit the biggest jackpot. But Chasson needed to hear it straight from the Atlantic lottery officials to believe it. When the win was confirmed, Chasson said he had been a crab fisherman for 40 years, and now he could finally retire from his job at a local fish plant. He promised the windfall would not change him much. He said that he's planning to support his family and live a life not too different from before, except, of course, with a significantly larger bank balance. And guess what? He's not going to stop playing the lottery. Right after claiming his jackpot, he went and bought more tickets. Chasson's winning ticket came from Dipinor Pokemouche in Pokemouche NB, which will get a nice little bonus for selling the winning ticket. The numbers that changed his life were 1, 20, 30, 35, 36, and 44, with a bonus ball of 48, winning the jackpot in the gold ball drawing. Lotto 649's gold ball drawing is a special one. Every ticket gets you a shot at the classic draw and a unique gold ball draw number. 
While the Classic always offers 5 mil, the Gold Ball jackpot can soar way higher. On April 15, 2023, the Gold Ball was drawn, handing Chiasan a whopping $64 million. Just goes to show that sometimes luck waits till the last minute to show up. Just like Chiasan, this next winner's first order of business after winning the lottery was to quit their job. Quit on the spot $90,000 Some people love their job, but some people hate it so much that they need just a little nudge to hand in their resignation. That's exactly what Rashawn Tolliver, a resident of Hopkinsville, Kentucky, wanted to do. In the first week of April, she walked into Skyline Fuel and bought five instant tickets from the $5 wild cash multiplier game. What she didn't know was that among those tickets was a $90,000 winner. She headed home after purchasing the ticket. Her son and boyfriend were relaxing the next room after having lunch. Rashawn decided it was time to see if luck was on her side. It all came down to the last ticket, which to her initial disappointment revealed three seven symbols. She first expected a minor win but she couldn't believe her eyes when it turned out to be the top prize. She screamed so loud it startled her family. It was her lucky day. On March 4th, she claimed her prize of $64,800 after taxes at the lottery headquarters. It turned out this win was the opportunity Rashawn needed to say goodbye to a job that she hated. She finally resigned. The retailer who sold the winning ticket also earned a $900 bonus. Rashawn's win was the last of the $90,000 top prizes for the Wild Cash Multiplier game, which had just launched in March 2023. While 90 grand might not last forever, it is a significant amount that can increase if Rashawn invests wisely and spends it smartly. For Rashawn, this win can get her the freedom she always wanted. And now the biggest jackpot of April yet. Powerball jackpot that keeps rolling. $1.33 billion After a nail-biting 41 draws that started on January 3rd, the Powerball finally crowned a winner on April 7th. This marathon of draws tied the record for the longest sequence without a winner in the game's history, and the jackpot it led to was no small thing. It was the eighth largest in the world. All of this money went to a single ticket sold in Oregon. The lucky numbers finally found their match in a ticket from Northeast Portland, an area that includes the bustling Portland International Airport. When the winner will come forward, he'll be given two choices. Either take $1.3259 billion over 29 years, or a quick $621 million lump sum. Previously, Oregon's biggest Powerball win was $340 mil back in 2005. That pot was split between two couples in Jacksonville, Oregon. Now, this latest winner will also have to pay taxes, of course. Oregon's state income tax is 9.9%, so after deducting that, the winner will be left with either 705.3 mil over the years or 329.8 mil up front. Oregon law means the winner cannot hide their identity. They cannot stay anonymous, which means we'll get to see the new billionaire as well. But let's not forget, this drawing also paid a bunch of other players. Seven people from different states matched the first five numbers, each one a $1 million prize. Unfortunately, none of them had paid for the power play. Otherwise, they'd gotten two mil instead. It's fair to say they still ended up with a pretty sweet deal. A win is a win, after all. Do you like these lottery stories? Let's check out the biggest wins from March now. It was a month full of surprises and huge jackpots, so don't miss hearing these amusing wins.